Well, police are investigating a double murder in Post Falls involving a mother and her young daughter. Police were called to the Tullamore Commons Apartments off of Caradell Avenue shortly after 1130 this morning. And we have learned in just the last hour that this man, 24-year-old Angel Albertico Morales Lornaga, has been charged with two counts of murder. Kex wife was John Hendricks on the scene all afternoon and evening. He joins us now in the studio with an update. John? Nadine, tonight a woman and her daughter are dead and a man is sitting in the Kootenai County Jail suspected in their murder. Police say he is believed to have been living with the victims and two other kids, but their relationship still unknown. These swings sit motionless tonight in Post Falls. It's a quiet, family-oriented neighborhood. Kids play around all the time. The normal run of kids being kept inside as the sidewalks they frequent lined with crime scene tape. Came out here at 10.30 to walk the dog and none of this was around. Came out again at uh, 1.30 to walk the dog and all this is up and police everywhere. And Post Falls police say they got a call around 11.30 this morning from a woman. She had received information that a a, um, uh, a male had given her, given her that he had um, injured or, or killed his uh, couple of his family members. When they arrived at this apartment complex, they found the bodies of a woman and her young daughter inside. We've been in the house just to verify that they are deceased, and then we've come out of the house and we're waiting for a search warrant. We know we have two people deceased in the house. A short time later, the man who claimed he had killed his wife and daughter caught by police. They were able to make a traffic stop and uh, get him stopped and we have him in custody. Investigators say the family had two other kids. Tonight, they're in police custody. And as you can imagine, this typically quiet neighborhood shaken to its core. Police told me tonight the two other kids at the home were taken by the suspect to the home where he apparently confessed to what he had just done. Tonight, they are in police custody. Reporting in the studio, John Hendricks, KXLY 4 News. All right.